And then quick way to end it with this little topic here, courtesy of Hypebeast regarding Sammy Ross's new a Cold War and Nike Air Max Plus Blue. Um, I was saying before, it, it kind of looks like and feels like, um, based on the articles I've been reading, clearly Sammy Ross has taken a different path and not trying to be too front and center when it comes to the clothing side of things, when it comes to his brand of Cold War. It looks like he's trying to steer himself more into the contemporary art side of things, which makes complete sense. Having caught the last couple of days of his exhibition at the White Cube in Bermondsey, it's definitely got a lane for him there. His work has definitely been improving um, from what I've been able to see online and stuff that I saw in person so clearly that avenue makes more sense and probably there's way more longevity in being a contemporary artist than there is trying to you know once they chase the trends but trying to be still be somewhat relevant on the whole streetwear and fashion design side of things I think easily if you wanted to I think my idea or my impression of the guy was always that he was going to go down the kind of you know Armani type of road and turn flipping a cold war into some behemoth as a, of, a, of a brand I just kept chugging along and him just down the forefront designing year after year after year but maybe actually what might end up happening he might end up taking it down the Stussy type of road where maybe over time he relinquishes control he's not doing the design as much as hands-on and he puts more of it into the hands of the actual people working in-house and then they just keep churning out decent collection after decent collection after decent collection over over, over the years and it becomes the brand that just exists without the association with Sammy Russ himself maybe who knows but regardless when it comes to Nike collaborations him and the Cold War always smash it out of the cup always smash it out of the park sorry I don't think they've had a dud so far and I like this adoption um, and kind of you know interpretation of a Nike TN or what, what we what we used to call TNs back here in London or in the UK overall and now they're I think effectively called Nike Air Max Pluses but these look really great because there's a splash of color usually it's kind of monochromatic when it comes to stuff Cold War does but the fact that he's gone for this really bright cobalt blue type of hue that i think this quite synonymous with the brand actually when i think of a cold war i always think of this kind of slate gray color and i also think of this blue for some reason i think they've done this blue and red really well over the season i think if you look back to the older but you would have seen um sparkles a little sprinklings of that blue dotted around place so which is weird because it's one of my favorite colors i love that ultramarine um blue kind of colorway it kind of reminds me again of that kind of classic legendary um painter's jacket that everyone used to wear back in the day with the pockets in them and shit but yeah um the nike air max plus here um that you know samuel ross leaked on his instagram no date on when it's gonna drop so far but it looked absolutely banging all blue design um very minimal on the upper strip back in terms of design not much you know accruements going on in the upper and stuff not crazy stuff here and there this looks like there might be a white or gray pair also so maybe two colors i'm hoping for free but also there might be two colors if you zoom in a little bit deeper here towards the back of the hill tab i think the back of the hill looks a bit translucent so you might see here bits of that i like the addition of the icy soul reminds me of the classic reebok workouts from back in the day with a clear icy soul that used to look amazing when you got them fresh new and maybe over time they would wear in a bit and you could spray it i've got what thing you could put on them there's some sort of application some sort of spray you could use to basically um uncloudy um you know clear icy soles that people used to use on jordan 11s i think back in the day that used to work really well but i do like the addition of those the translucent sole looks pretty decent um the upper i'm really curious to see what the how they finish the upper really what that actually looks like if that's all been kind of embossed because usually these little lines here are usually made of some sort of plastic um so maybe they've kind of made the effect kind of you know with just having it kind of raised to give that effect but instead of having the little plastic bits i like the little addition of the little squares here and to the swoosh the swoosh looks like it might be 3m that looks pretty decent also um like the look of that the shape is absolutely banging all found of that completely and they're probably going to be dropping soon because i saw a picture of samuel i think in paris wearing a pair of them as well um out there while he's doing the cold war showroom so clearly these are going to be on their way out there very very soon and in the back there that that looks like a maybach isn't it like a what's that thing called maybe a truck in the back there that's a that's a that's a bit of a flex as well to be completely fair um, bopping down the street with the shoes you just designed um in front of a fucking maybach truck that you're rocking with a fucking ap on absolutely mad but yeah the shoes look great loving what they look like um eager to see what the colorways are going to be i'm hoping for free Three, but so far it looks like we've only got two got that blue and we've got the other one as you can see here from the box 
we've got these little tabs here one looks blue one looks orange so maybe there might be three maybe there might be this blue the white and then an orange like a safety orange which i've seen him feature a lot on his artwork also um there's been that kind of orange um splattered around in places i think there's been a bit of it highlighted in some of the fragrances he's done so it makes a lot of sense if that's the case if we get a blue and an orange and a white sometime soon but yeah these look absolutely incredible love them love them love them as hype say here there's no official date as you can see no official release information has been confirmed yet yeah, but check out the gallery for information soon but yeah I said yeah oh see there we go um nike so this is might be hmm the 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 words here it says designed by this is an instagram account glass brick vault battered tn so i wonder if these are the four colorways glass brick vault battered hmm i wonder i'm not too sure but i guess we have to wait and see what the deal is but i'm eager to see when these finally do drop because i would definitely be purchasing those i would definitely be purchasing those no way shadow of a doubt about that one 